Hi, Bonnie and Connie Ten. Um, thanks for looking at my videos and everything. And I guess um, this is Bonnie that I'm talking to. Um, first off, it just depends on what type of hair you have. And I have your um, questions over to the side of my computer. But um, I guess what I need to know is do you want the hair that you saw in the other video that I had? Or are you wanting something with a little bit, you know, deeper wave as if you took a cramp curler and went all the way down? Like a deep one. Um, if you do want the type of hair that I have, I can show you how to twist it, going back to let the rest of it blend. Um, another thing that I was, are you getting a half a head or a whole head? Because what I usually get is a half a head, and basically, this is all my real hair. All this is my real hair, and on the sides like all through here this is my real hair from here to here and then this is my real hair right here but then all this is weave right here I don't know if you can see that let me see the back all this is weave right here and then I also have my back out so this is my real hair right here so this is my new weave right here so I can get this wet and it will still be straight in the water, but um, I guess let me know what kind of type of hair you're looking for. Um, so if you get a half a head, then I can try to, you know, find something that will pretty much blend with your hair. Um, and if you get a whole head, then, you know, it doesn't matter what type of hair you get because it's all going to, you know, blend or whatever. Okay, the... Um, second question was how do you wrap your hair I don't wrap my hair I don't know if other people do but I just use this scarf this long scarf and I'll take it like this cross it and just tie it up like that and then go to bed and usually there's not a dent in it or anything and then I'll just take it and flat iron it or curl it to how I want it or, but I really don't you know sit there and wrap it because I mean I got braids back here so it's kind of hard and then the other thing was um, you can use a bonnet like just a, a sh kind of looks like a shower cap but don't use a shower cap because I'll sweat your hair out um, another one that you had was the type of conditioner you use is something that's not oily, something like olive oil conditioner. Don't use that on this type of hair, the type of hair you're planning on to get. Um, I would use something like Dove or Herbal Essence, something, something that white people would put in their hair. So as you know, around what white people put in their hair, like as conditioner, and put that in your hair for the weave. And then you can put that in your hair, or you can divide it off and put that. But when you wash your hair with conditioner, you're not gonna do all that. You're just you know gonna do it gently because you don't want to tangle up your hair while you're um because it's not your real hair, so you gotta treat it a little bit different. And, um, so don't like you know scratch your head because I don't know if you're getting it sewn in with braids or to your hair or to get it glued in. But from what I was seeing from school, you want to get it braided in because it'll last a little bit longer and it'll be better up to you. Um, What should you put on your real hair? Um, it pretty much depends on what type of hair you get. So I guess comment me back from the questions that you have from this video. And I'll try to work with you again and see what we can do and if these questions help. But um, 
you want to try to get it to blend as much as possible and I was trying to look at your hair on your videos and you have you know nice hair it's really pretty and you have you know a pretty good length so I guess I need to know what does your hair do when you get it wet do you have a perm so if you get a perm then it's just going to be kind of I'm assuming straight even when wet if you don't have a perm then you might be able to work with some more different type hair and it, are you getting a half a head or a whole head and um, what type of hairstyle are you wanting to wear most days and then I was seeing that you were going to school and you wanted to leave an egg for about five months I the longest that I can hold this in is three and that's taking good care of it you know and my hair grows you know at a steady rate so we kind of need to know how fast does your hair grow because in my one video I got my hair cut but if you see that my tracks without that my hair has grown quite a bit from them three months that I've had see this is all my hair right here so I had cut it up here but let me make another video because we'll be right back.